Hello, and welcome to the second episode of The Roll-Up, our video series where we go over all things related to our product updates, community events, content releases, and more. I'm Ian, one of the co-founders here at Roll, and today we've got a full slate of things to talk about. So let's dive in. All right, so here we are in a Roll game room. And one of the first updates uh, we've, had, we've made recently is to a feature we previously released called Focus Mode. Up until now, Focus Mode, what that does is when you're viewing a map, for example, let's show this map to the party. If you click your dot menu here in the bottom center of the screen, you can turn on focus mode. And you'll see the video tiles here on the left will disappear. And this allows uh, you and the party to uh, basically focus on the map and minimize the rest of the UI as much as possible. And so we want to update focus mode to make it useful, not just when you're viewing a map, but when you're in your video area lobby. So in this particular case right now, uh, there's two of us connected to the video call. Um, I've got my camera on. Danny doesn't have a camera or a microphone on. If I enable focus mode, Danny will disappear. And what this does in a normal game session where you might have four, five, six plus people, if some people aren't connected yet or don't feel like uh, participating right now and they turn off their camera and the microphone, um, only the people that are explicitly have either a camera or microphone on will show up in this grid, thus making everyone's video tile larger by hiding the ones that are, are not currently participating. The next update uh, we've pushed out recently is the ability for certain room settings uh, to persist between your various game sessions. Um, specifically, the volume that a host sets for shared audio. If I go over here and go my music, this little audio scrubber, um, volume scrubber, wherever you set this, it's going to remain the same between game sessions. Whether you have lobby music muted or not, whether you've toggled on dice rolls to show or hide them, uh, if you have private dice rolls enabled, if you have auto clear enabled, and the last selected dice color. So now any of those settings I just mentioned, uh, you set them once and they will remain at that value uh, from game session to game session. And over time, uh, we'll add more things so that you don't always have to reset up your room every time you start a new game session. Next up, we have actually started the redesign of our dashboard and store pages to be more in line with our latest uh, UI and color theming. So right now you're looking at our latest storefront. Um, we now have like a featured banner area, which you can see we currently have Avatar Legends, um, more on that in a little bit, as well as the rest of our games that we currently uh, have for sale um, or for free on our marketplace. So everything's been updated to be kind of a nicer UI UX. Uh, when I go into a game page as well, um, we now pull the theme for the game on these product pages. Um, so every game can feel a bit more unique in its presentation uh, as you, you know, view them throughout the store. Now, currently, if I go over to my stuff, it takes me back to the, the current dashboard uh, for my things like my rooms, my play materials. Uh, coming up uh, in the next few weeks uh, to a month is we will be updating uh, this entire dashboard to also be in line with our latest designs and aesthetic. All right, so jumping back into a game room, the last feature update to talk about today is advancements to our sheet controls. So prior to this release, uh, you could either share a sheet publicly to the whole table or just keep it private to yourself and allow the whole table to edit your sheet or keep it private to yourself. Uh, and so now we have given you more options uh, for sheet controls specifically in who can view it and who can edit it. And so we're gonna check those out right now. So with a sheet open uh, on the left-hand side of your game room, you can click the dot menu and you'll now see uh, you have two options, a viewers and an editors. If you click uh, the box next to one of these options, you will see what you can set them to. So they both have the same options. I can make this sheet viewable only to myself, to me and the host, in this case I am the host, or everyone at the table. So if I said only you, now Danny can no longer see my sheet. If I put it back to everyone, Danny can see my sheet. So Danny can see my sheet, but only I'm able to edit it. If I clicked everyone, Danny would also be able to edit this sheet. So I'll leave this to only you for now. 
as well as we've updated the sheet selector to display this information. So you can see that I have my sheet set to viewing by everyone, editing only to me. And I can see that I can view the sheet that Danny has shared. So if Danny was to come over and say, set viewer only to himself, uh, it would go away. I can no longer see a sheet. You can see that that sheet removed it from the icon because he has set that sheet to private. So let's say he allows me to see this again. You can now see that it's viewable to me. And now let's say he gives me permissions to edit the sheet as well. You can see it changes to sheets I can edit. So I can now open this up and I can be like, oh, you're actually level two. And now I've edited Danny's sheet. So those are the updates to our sheet controls. Uh, we plan to do more in the future and kind of give you more nuanced options. Uh, but for now, uh, you can change who can view your sheet. You can change who can edit your sheet. Next up, let's talk about some of the latest content releases to the Roll platform. We have a couple awesome and really exciting partnerships that we've got lined up. So let's head over to the store and check it out. To start, uh, we have a partnership with The Gauntlet. Uh, we are starting to bring over their catalog of games and we've begun with Trophy in Brindlewood Bay. Here's uh, the Trophy Dark page. We also have uh, Trophy Gold, as well as Trophy Loom. And if you are someone who has uh, backed or previously purchased Trophy Dark, you should have already received a free redemption code in your inbox uh, to get your copies of Trophy on Roll. And if not, please email support at playroll.com. We also have Brindlewood Bay and its supplement, Nephews in Peril. This just launched today uh, as of the recording of this video. And uh, we will soon be opening up redemption emails for everyone who has also previously backed or purchased Brindlewood Bay. So look forward to an email from store at playroll.com in your inbox to get your copy of Brindlewood Bay. We've also had the really exciting opportunity to work with Magpie Games to bring over Avatar Legends to Roll. So you can now purchase the Avatar Legends bundle, or if you prefer, you can individually purchase the Avatar Legends core book or the Wang Shitong's Adventure Guide. But we're really excited to be bringing over uh, Avatar to the Roll platform. Uh, there was a lot of backers for this Kickstarter campaign and every single one of you should have already received your free unlock to play Avatar on Roll. And just an example, I'm gonna jump into uh, the preview game room for Avatar. You can see we've got every single playbook uh, imported and implemented in role native character sheets, as well as a ton of other assets, uh, maps, and tokens that you will get when you purchase the Avatar bundle on roll. If we look here, you can see um, there's two rule books in the, in the bundle, totaling 477 pages of content, five other supplementary PDFs, a map, 29 tokens, and 19 high resolution images from the rule book. So all of these titles I just mentioned are available on the Playroll store, so check them out and get your copies today. What's coming up next for Roll? Well, we've got a few feature things to talk about today, as well as hinting at some content coming down the line. So to start, uh, we talked about tagging in our last Roll Up episode. Uh, we're still finalizing some things with that, but tagging for sheets and templates is coming soon. We're also, uh, as I mentioned previously, working on updating the rest of your role dashboard to be in the new UX, the new dark theme. So this is talking about what's currently in the My Stuff section, which is your rooms and your play materials, uh, which encompasses your assets, your sheets, your templates. All of that is giving uh, a makeover as well as performance improvements. And then lastly, we're currently working on an improved uh, first time experience for setting up a game room. Uh, this will involve uh, better walking you through an onboarding into what role offers, as well as giving you a improved way to search for the game you're looking to play. In terms of content, uh, we've got a couple of really exciting things coming in role. Uh, I'm just going to hint at it right now, but we're working with uh, a particular publisher in the space uh, to bring over their catalog in the mid to end of April. So look out for those announcements uh, on our socials and probably in our next roll up uh, episode. 
Lastly for today, I wanna to go over some of our community events that we've got going on. So to reiterate again, we have a partnership going on with Start Playing Games right now, where you can hire professional GMs that will run uh, you, your friends, or help you find a party uh, of people to go on adventures with playing a huge swath of games. Uh, you can check that out. I'll put the link in the description, um, but playroll.com slash GMs. Also, we recently sponsored this really amazing experimental uh, actual play stream by Nameless Domain. Uh, I'll put the link uh, to their latest Twitch VOD down in the description, but it's a really cool one shot uh, taking place in the world of Bluebeard's Bride. And I encourage you to check that out. That's everything we got for today's episode of The Roll-Up. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, as a reminder, we've got uh, a Discord that you can join to chat about all things Roll, to hear about our latest feature releases and content releases, as well as looking for group. Happy adventuring, and as always, you can play with us.